Hello guys, welcome to Passivan. In this video, I am going to create a comparison between Linguix and Grammarly. Linguix is an alternative of Grammarly and I hope you are very familiar with Grammarly guys. Grammarly is a AI writing assistant that will help you to correct your writings or to correct your sentence grammatical. And this Linguix is an alternative of this Grammarly. And Linguix is running their lifetime deal on AppSumo guys as it's an alternative of Grammarly that's why I'm creating this comparison video uh, to show you how good the output of Linguix is compared to Grammarly and now without further ado let's start the comparison and let's explore how uh, amazing um, the output is between these two tools now if I at first go to Linguix see this is the dashboard of Linguix in this video, I will not create a complete review of Linguix, guys. If you are interested to see the complete review of Linguix, then you can go to Passive YouTube channel and see there I have Linguix review. You can watch this video. I will give the link of Linguix review video in the i button of this video. But here we will compare the output of Linguix. And to explore the output, let me go to the uh, editor. Let me click on this open editor. And here, let me create one document and here i will paste some text that i have been written so let me paste here guys see these are the text that i have been written this is my text so i have been pasted these things on linguix and now similar things i will paste on my grammarly see this is my grammarly tool and here this is grammarly premium i hope you can see the premium tag this is grammarly premium i will open my Grammarly dashboard here or Grammarly docs here and then I will paste the same text here and here okay let me describe and then done so see this is the text same text I have been added here let me resize the dashboard side by side, side guys see this is one dashboard for Grammarly and this one is for basically linguix so let me keep them side by side and then i will show you the comparison see guys here is the comparison i hope you can see it see on grammarly in two in this section there have one error but in linguix there are no errors see and grammarly is saying there will be only two and the comma but here linguix is not showing me so if i just insert this comma on linguix then it's okay um, for linguics also and see there it's saying that and of course here grammarly is showing there will be a comma before of so if i select it see here is the comma but in linguics i'm not seeing anything else like that okay and then let me find where is the and of let me find this text here okay here will be this okay see here is the text and here be after and linguics is not suggesting the comma so i think grammarly is more conscious about punctuational correction also than this linguics guys and then see here and this business where or this business we are discussing today is in this section if i go in linguics see here is a section is grammarly suggesting that here the colon will not be so grammarly is suggesting in this way but linguics is suggesting in this way but i think the both are right because it's not a big matter i think if i give here a colon or not after that see if i go to this option see here grammarly is saying a guy on april 7 2022 decide that he will start a business okay here grammarly is saying that here will be a comma so let me find this portion on linguix okay here this 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 is the portion basically and here see grammarly is saying that there will be a comma 
a guy and then there will be comma but linguics is not showing that and then april in april there will not be comma grammarly is saying and linguics is saying there will not be comma that's great and here in 2022 there will be a comma and linguics is saying that there will not be a comma just there will be decided grammarly is also saying maybe there will be decided and here in will there will be would and they're saying that will seems to be in the wrong tense and there will be would but here linguics is not showing anything so i hope you get idea guys what is happening here here i think grammarly is more punctuation conscious but linguics is not so much conscious about punctuational error and see here grammarly is showing okay at graphics design and here grammarly is saying that there will be a comma but their linguics is showing okay okay but there they are not showing any comma and grammarly is saying there will be in okay in graphics design but linguics is uh, showing okay at graphics design so i think both are good and see here excel here will be capitalization yes there will be capitalization but grammarly is not showing this capitalization see so this is one downside on grammarly guys after that similarly say here in the place of add there will be a comma and there maybe will be one in but in linguics it's not showing anything like that so these are the things guys after that if i scroll more then here i will use one of my skills to build a business within next 48 hours so if i go to this portion so there see in next grammarly is showing one error and here linguics is also showing one error so let me correct it on grammarly see there will be the next and linguics is also showing there will be the next so linguics is not showing anything else but here um, grammarly is showing that there will be one comma see again this punctuation so grammarly is more punctuation conscious but linguics is not so much punctuation conscious i think but other things are almost same between them and see um, here another portion is he recorded eight videos here grammarly is showing there will be uh, the eight e i g s t not number but linguics is not showing anything like that so these are the things and here in number here they are also saying the um, word spelling to use but um, linguics is good to go with this number uh, here basically so these are the things guys i hope you get idea and see here grammarly is showing very basic in the in place of very basic there will be fundamental and linguics is not saying anything here basically so these are the things guys i hope you get idea and then it took in total 12 hours and gamal is saying that the in total will not be placed here so let me correct it in case of grammarly but see linguics is good to go with that so in linguics i think linguics will detect your major correction or your major uh, problems in your writing but grammarly is uh, seeing more in details your problem these are the things guys and see here in this 200 dollar i have written here dollar 200 again usd and grammarly is uh, saying that there will be usd 200 or dollar 200 let's say i'll use here to dollar 200 but this linguics is not uh, showing anything here see if i go to this portion from here let me find this portion okay i cannot find anything like that here yes here is the uh, option guys see it's not um, saying that this portion is wrong but i know that this portion is wrong why because if i use this dollar sign then usd is not necessary i think so this is one mistake 
it should be detected by linguics i think but linguics is not detecting it so these are the things guys i hope you get idea about the difference between these two tool i am not exploring all the writings because the writing is very lengthy but see on linguics they are also detecting a lot of mistakes but grammarly is also detecting a lot of mistakes but in some case grammarly is detecting more details than linguics so these are the comparison guys now i will compare another thing i will compare outside the tool here i have been installed the grammarly premium see here is the grammarly premium i will use it outside of the tool that means let's say i will use it on my google uh, docs so i will paste the writings here let me paste it let me paste it okay not this one i'm sorry guys maybe yes this text so i have been pasted it and now see grammarly can also detect the mistake outside their editor now i will go to linguics from here and then i will open one doc here let me open i have also installed on the extension of linguix here guys now if i paste it here let me paste it so i have been pasted it and now let me show you if this linguix can detect the wrongs see linguix is not detecting i think yes linguix is detecting guys so both uh, linguix and grammarly can detect the um, wrong or the mistake of your writing outside of their editor also so this is the comparison guys this is a quick comparison between linguix and grammarly so now you can decide what tool you should use if you think you need a cheap alternative of grammarly then definitely you can get this linguix lifetime deal from appsumo they are running their lifetime deal on appsumo for a limited period of time so if you think is you need this tool then you can get this linguix lifetime deal from appsumo i'll give the link of linguix lifetime deal in the description of this video also i'll give the link of grammarly in the description of this video you can get depending on your need any one that you need basically so these are the things guys I hope you get idea and it's an affiliate link is if you use this link to purchase this amazing deal I'll get a small commission without costing you any additional costing so if you think is this video is helpful for you then please consider using this link to purchase this amazing deal and the last thing is visit our website www.pesivan.com to get more tips and tricks about growing online business also join our VIP lifetime deal discussion group through the description of this video and if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel yet guys then please consider subscribing this channel thank you so much guys for watching this video